Uh, Ted Cruz in Texas, uh, he would seem to be a prohibitive favorite, being that it's deemed to be Republican Texas. But as Connell McShane can tell you, that is not such a given these days. Connell. Well, that's why we came here, Neil, to get a first-hand look for ourselves at all the enthusiasm we were told was behind the insurgent Democratic candidate, the Congressman Beto O'Rourke from El Paso. And we're here at an O'Rourke rally that's going to begin any minute now at a local college. And the gym is filled up with young people, and we spoke to many of them, and they are indeed excited about their candidate. But I can tell you this. I spoke to Senator Ted Cruz one-on-one -on -one at his campaign headquarters in Houston a little bit earlier today. And he told me, in his view, something changed about this close race in the last couple of weeks with the fight over Brett Kavanaugh in Washington. Take a listen. Fox has it as a, quote, lean R state. Are you more likely to win this race now than you were a couple of weeks ago before the Kavanaugh process began? Oh, sure. But, but look, I, we were going to win before we're going to win now. And the good news is, in Texas, there are a whole lot more conservatives than liberals. And, right. and so this election is all about turnout. And if we turn out common sense conservatives will win and i do think this Kavanaugh battle has energized a lot of conservatives has, have, has woken them up to just how extreme mm -hmm. and crazy the left is well, Cruz is right, obviously, Neil, that he does have the advantage numbers-wise, more Republicans than Democrats here in Texas, although Democrats will tell you some of that is changing in their favor, especially with the enthusiasm this time around. But I thought it was interesting that he pointed directly to the Kavanaugh confirmation process as having energized Republicans who he said had become complacent in the early days of the race. Now, Congressman O'Rourke, from what we understand, has just arrived at this community college, and he'll be speaking to these students in the next few minutes. We'll report back on that later today. It's an interesting race. We'll see how it turns out. And by the way, this is just the start of our week-long series on midterms in your money. Later on this week, we'll be in Tennessee following the close race there between former Governor Phil Bredesen and Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. Neil? Uh, all right, because you have Taylor Swift weighing in on that race. Any chance you're going to be getting a one-on-one -on -one with Taylor that. Swift? <laughs> Well, I've already sold my my producer, Anna McEwen, has been put on notice that if she's unable to book the exclusive Taylor Swift interview, she's fired, which All I right, think is fair. Go. So we'll see if we can work that out for later in the week, right? All right. So you have Taylor Swift. I have Adele. It could be interesting. It could be really yes. compactful programming. All right. Thank you, my friend. Uh, <laughs> yes. Connell's going to be a busy bee collecting all of those frequent flyer miles.